so welcome to this week's episode. This time we're in Jurere International Sports Centre and uh, we've got some interesting things for you this week. We're doing a little bit in from Glasgow on beginners flying trapeze, but also we'll be covering the postgraduate programme in Curitiba. So uh, let's take a look at some of those things. We're going to start this week with an interview inside one of our beginners flying trapeze classes in Glasgow. So if you want an idea as to what goes on in one of our classes, then uh, this should help you out. First time's terrifying, but it gets yeah. slightly less scary, I think. Yeah. Jumped off the mat like several times. Um, I moved my arms with my legs on the bar, which I didn't think I would ever do. Your <laughs> legs over? Yeah. Just like before, hands back on. Sit, look up to the bar, and take hold of it. Good start. <laughs> the worst part's the first one where you have to jump off for the first time, but it's yeah. pretty fun after that. It's been great fun. If you're thinking about it, just do it. The gang's here are great, so you never feel that you're going to fall off. Back, jump! Back, jump! And work that swing. Try it. Back, set. One of the many interesting programs developed by Circus Can is their postgraduate course in acrobatics for circus and gymnastics. The course is delivered in partnership with the PUCPR University, which is the Pontifical Catholic University of Parana in Curitiba. I was fortunate enough to be invited to speak on the course on the subject of the formation of an acrobat. And after the course, I caught up with Professor Bruno Tukunduva, who explained more about the program. Could you tell me a little bit about uh, the contents of the course and um, what people will experience when they go on the course? So the the name of course already uh, tries to, to direct the, the idea, but it's about acrobatic activities of circus and gymnastics. Uh, so the contents that we try to build a basis about um, pe the pedagogical processes of, uh, of teaching acrobatic activities. So for instance, mm, uh, juggling, we won't do much of juggling, we won't do much of um, these other uh, elements of the circus scenario or the circus universe, we just focus on acrobatic activities. As I said before, uh, for us to find the relation of circus and gymnastics in, with physical education, movement is the main idea, so movement is acrobatic. Of course, everything else is movement too, but what we find the most um, um, dazzling thing about circus <laughs> would be acrobatic activities. So as the, uh, the program, the course contents, we have a large philosophical, ideological and conceptual basis of what is circus, what is gymnastics and how we can find an idea of acrobatics to support all that, those expressions. Uh, in gymnastics more related to competition or for body education as we have in the um, in the past centuries gymnastics and in circus as a way for you to express yourself so this acrobatic we, we, we need to know what is acrobatics and that's what's for the, the first uh, mm, set of disciplines 
is aimed on finding out what is a con how to build a concept together with the, the students uh, about acrobatics. Uh, the next steps, then we have uh, many, we have an, one special uh, discipline about security, safety, how to work with safety during our classes, during teaching uh, acrobatics. Um, we have then the technical disciplines with, which are related to aerial performance, um, about uh, ground uh, abilities, ground acrobatics. Uh, and mainly that, that that's the, the idea. And we also have a, another uh, big area of the, the course that's related to performance itself. How to relate uh, theater, dance and all these uh, other arts to think about acrobatic movement. Especially because we build a concept that acrobatics is a way for you to express yourself mainly that. It's not functional, it's, it's, it's a way for you to express yourself. So you have to build uh, an arts relationship with it and then we try to dig these this, this relations. That video was a short extract from a longer video which you can find about the uh, postgraduate degree program on our YouTube channel if you'd like more information. One of our new classes which we've just started this year is Movement Vocabulary, which um, is taught by Scott Hewson. We've been very keen for a long time to get Scott in to teach this class um, because it's something I'm particularly interested in. So I'm hoping he'll be joining this as soon as I'm back in Scotland. Hi, my name's Scott Houston. I'm a qualified parkour coach and movement artist here in Glasgow. We have the Movement Vocabulary class here at Aerial Edge and it's designed mainly to support the development of anyone who wants to come. We do a lot of work with establishing movements first. We then play with the variety and combinations of them to create patterns and then they can then search for their own patterns. We provide our students with a variety of movements. So for instance, we'll go through a lot of pelvic movements, um, rotation of values of the arms, segmental spinal control um, and various other aspects. Who is this class for? It is for anyone. We can either assist on people's current development or we can get people on a starting point in order to find more curiosity in movement. This week's teaching tips are coming from Seamus Clancy, who also happens to be modelling one of our new Aerial Edge onesies today. Hi, I'm Seamus for Aerial Edge TV, and I would like to talk to you today about an exercise called Renegade Rose. Uh, we do this exercise in our class called Circus Fitness, and the idea of it is that we engage our traps and our rhomboids, which is just in behind the shoulder blades, and we're trying to internally rotate those shoulder blades, kind of doing the opposite to a press up. As aerialists, we use a lot of our pectoral muscles, these ones on the front, the big ones. And what happens if we use these too much is it draws our shoulders forward, and we end up with this, this gym monkey look. And you see the guys walking around the gym all the time like this. And all that is is an overdevelopment of our pecs. So we're trying to counter that and just draw our shoulders back again. Okay, so we've practiced this move on a hanging trapeze bar, or we can practice it on a chin-up bar at home. And what we want is a partner or something to rest our feet on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest my feet on this platform. I'm going to make my body as straight as it can go. So my hips are in line, my shoulders are in line, and my head is in line. And from here, what I'm looking to do is draw my elbows out and in line with my shoulders. Just like so. Now as we start to get tired, we want to watch that our hips don't drop down and that our head doesn't start to poke as we get to the last little bit to get our chin up. So an alternative to the renegade rows on the trapeze is we can do them sat down on the ground as well. I'm using what we call a TheraBand or a resistance band and I've wrapped it just around uh, a truss. It can be done around a lamppost, anything at home, a uh, table leg. And what we're looking to do is so a nice tall posture so I've engaged my core, I'm bringing my elbows back and level with my shoulders again. 
and I just control it as I come back. We'd look to do about 10 reps of them and I would do three sets of that, so about 30 in total. And what that's hopefully going to do is draw our shoulders back and open up our chest and develop those back muscles just in behind the shoulder blades. And that was the renegade rows and the rows on the floor. Thanks to everyone who sent in messages or left comments about Aerial Edge TV. We've had a lot of fun putting it together. And if there's something that you'd like to see covered, then please leave it here in the comments and uh, we'll follow up on that. And now we have Seamus Clancy with the news. Hi, I'm Seamus Clancy, and this is the Aerial Edge News on a High. Our biggest headline is the Aerial Edge Scratch Night happening on the 7th of March. The Scratch Night will have flying trapeze, it'll have doubles, hoop, straps, and many more. We look forward to seeing you then. So this week we confirmed that we have Easter workshops happening for both adults and children, and they will be happening from the 7th of April onwards. And you can get more details on that by looking on our website. Fantastic news is that our store has been restocked. So we are now selling hoodies and t-shirts again. And we have a new range of jogging bottoms and aerial edge onesies. If you missed out on our unlimited acro circus pass, don't panic. There's still a chance to book that. And you can check out new prices on aerialedge.co.uk. In other circus news, All or Nothing in Edinburgh have just started up their new nationwide show, uh, Three's a Crowd, and we will hopefully be interviewing them for our next podcast. And for more news as it happens, please like our Facebook page, follow our Twitter account, and keep up with the latest YouTube videos. That's the Aerial Edge News on a High. I'm Seamus Clancy, over and out. If you want to keep up to date with that Aerial Edge TV episodes, then there's three locations you can go to do that. You can go to iTunes, because we're in the iTunes store, do a search under Aerial Edge TV, and it'll pop right up there for you in iTunes. And if you wish, you can subscribe to it there. Two other locations where you can go, you can go to the, our website, aerialedge.tv, and here you can see a listing of all of the episodes. If you click through to the individual episode, you'll also be able to leave a comment on each one of those. So there are some subscription options which you have there too to stay up to date. And lastly, you can go and visit our Aerial Edge YouTube page and our YouTube channel, and uh, you'll be able to see Aerial Edge TV episodes down here right at the top.